Hello guys, welcome back to our Prime Coding channel. I hope you guys are fantastic and you are loving this on-campus placement series. So let's move forward with the next question. The question set as ask us to find all symmetric pairs in an array of pairs. Okay, what does this mean is if one comma two is there in the array, then find a symmetry. Symmetry will be one comma two will be equivalent to two comma one. If it is there, just return the symmetric value. Fine, just return the symmetric value, whatever we are getting it. This is a pretty straightforward problem because we have covered the maps in Python as well as I have put in the code of Java and C++ also. We will see the code snippet in this video also like how we can code it in any type of languages. But the idea behind is we will store like this is a map let's say we will store like if we encountered one comma two because it, it is not in the array we will not append into it is not in the array then we will append the first and the second value into it now 2 comma 1 2 comma 1 we got the 2 comma 1 value now we will see that if it is exist in like the if 1 is 1 we will take 1 as a key and we will see whether it exists in this uh, map or not if it exists then we just need to print this because this is an symmetric of an present uh, this is a symmetric of this particular key value pair and uh, similar we need to perform with each and every element present in this array now let's move forward with the code snippet like how we can do so the time complexity for this question would be order of n because we are not taking uh, we are not traversing two times we are traversing only one time as well as the space complexity would be order of n because we are taking map to solve this question fine i hope the question statement is pretty clear if not please read re uh, watch this uh, video till this end now we'll see the code snippet like how we can code it code this up now i have taken the store previously i have told you how we can do using the default dict but in this case if you take default dict or this one the code will be same there is no changes now for num scenario i will traversing over the num scenario now you can see the uh, array would be like uh, 2d list fine so what i'm doing is first and second means the one element will be directed to this first and another will be directed to the second this is the beauty of python now if the second not in store second means like i will check firstly the store is empty i will check two is there in the store no it is not there so just put the store uh, but put the values into the store like one comma two will be stored in this store map fine now again i got the two comma one now i am checking that second second value is one now i am taking one as a key and finding into the store map whether it is there yes it is there then i am printing it because the quotient we need to print the symmetric value so we are currently on this element and it's a symmetric value fine so this is the particular approach of this problem you can see in java how we can do that we are using map integer integer now we will create a new hash map now we will iterate over the array using the uh, using this for each method now for first and second that i did python in one, only one line now you can see nums of one now store uh, if it contains the second element as a key then if it is not present in the map then you should append it if it is been present in the map then you should directly print it fine so and in the c plus plus as you can see that same thing for each loop we are applying and we are checking the conditions no, not a different case in this there is an unorder map we are using so yes guys if you like this video please hit our uh, subscribe and like button and if you have any doubt please uh, put it into your comment section